Hi, this is Mike Lawless, and in this video, I'll discuss how to track metabolites in Gastro Plus. I'll be using Drone Drone as an example. I'll first generate the metabolites in MedChem Designer and show that we're going to track the ND butyl metabolite. I'll also show KM and VMAX predictions for the site's metabolism in MedChem Designer. Then I'll import Drone Drone and the M1 metabolite into Gastro Plus and modify the enzyme table of Drone Drone to uh, extract out the uh, kinetic parameters for this metabolite so that we can track it. And then I'll perform a PBPK simulation of Drone Drone, which of course results in the production of the metabolite. And then we'll examine the concentration of the parent and the metabolite uh, in the heart tissue. I've uh, opened Drone Drone in MedChem Designer, and then I simply click on the MET button to generate the metabolites. Uh, Drone Drone is predicted to be a substrate for 3A4 and a non substrate for the other four major. Uh, SIPs. Uh, this product up here in the upper right hand corner is the one we want to track. Uh, it uh, is produced from oxidation of this carbon atom here which forms an unstable intermediate uh, that dis decomposes into the aldehyde and the amine and then there's various hydroxylation products here. I've uh, created a new database and I'm just going to import the structure of the parent and metabolite into that database. So it brings up the uh, import structures dialog box and I'm going to set up a PBPK model of a 70 year old American male. And then I'm going to use the VMAX and KM values for recombinant SIPs. And I'll just click OK and it imports those two records. Uh, the first record uh, was the original blank record. And I'll just delete that one. And so now we have Drone Drone uh, as the first record. And uh, we're going to look at, take a look at the enzyme table. When Gastro Plus imported this molecule, it combined all the uh, kinetic parameters for the disappearance of drone drone into one value for 3A4. And if there were other isoenzymes that uh, would metabolize drone drone, those would also show up in the table. So what we need to do is add a couple more rows that will represent the transformation of drone drone into uh, this M1 metabolite. So we'll have to specify the M1 metabolite over here. And then we're going to have to subtract the uh, kinetic parameters just for that uh, particular site uh, from these uh, so that we'll have a group of rows that will represent all of the metabolites except for the M1 metabolite and then we'll have additional rows specifically for the M1 metabolite. So the first thing I'm going to do is add another row here. It'll be for drone drone. It'll be for uh, 3A4. Uh, again, liver and microsomes, or excuse me, here's where we want to uh, convert this to, let's, let's use gut first, and then uh, we'll enter these two values, and we want this to be converted to the M1 product here. Uh, similarly, we'll add one, one row for uh, the uh, PBPK model. Uh, so here we want to specify PBPK and again uh, the M1 metabolite here uh, that we'll track. Now we don't need to enter a liver uh, value uh, because we're going to do a PBPK model and uh, with the PBPK model the enzyme expression levels uh, will be picked up in the various tissues and uh, the liver row you, you see here is only for compartmental um, PK models. So now we'll flip back onto this row and we're going to use the unit converter to convert the values uh, from MedChem Designer into the correct units for Gastro Plus. Uh, so we're going to be looking at recombinant uh, SIPs. Uh, we're going to be looking at 3A4. The value is going to be unbound. And then we're going to enter our values uh, in here for this particular um, uh, VMAX and KM for that particular site of metabolism. Now the units in 
MedChem designer or nanomolar per minute per milligram or per nanomole of SIP. Uh, they're also in micromolar and then we want them converted to milligrams per second and milligrams per liter. So now let's bring up uh, MedChem designer, go back into the drone drone record and specify here that we want to see the KM value uh, for 3A4 displayed on this molecule. So here's the KM records. I can uh, kind of increase these values here and that'll increase that. So it's 67.7 micromolar. If we return back into uh, the converter and type in 67.7, uh, we see that that would correspond to a value of 37.6. And that's what we already have. As I mentioned, these KM values are all the same. Then for the uh, VMAX value, we want to again go back in into MedChem Designer and we want to display the VMAX values here. And for this particular site, it's uh, 61. So we need to type in a 61.0 here and that'll generate these, uh, this number for the uh, uh, gut and then this for the PBP K location. And then we can simply uh, transfer these to uh, these values here. So that's good. We've got those uh, entered in there and it'll produce this M1 uh, metabolite and we simply need to subtract these two values uh, here from this value and this value. 0 0.032, 0 0.0312 minus 0 0.00988 is equal to 0 0.0213 and then 13.01 uh, 13.01 minus 4.129 is 8.888 and then I'll save the enzyme table. Now that the enzyme table is set up we're ready to perform a simulation and we're going to do a 400 milligram dose uh, twice a day so the subsequent dose will be 400 milligrams and then the dosing interval will be 12. I'll go to the simulation tab and then simply click on start to start the simulation. Now the simulation is finished that took uh, around a minute uh, we get a fraction absorbed of 98% uh, FDP is 26%, so that indicates that there's uh, quite a bit of metabolism going on in the gut wall, and then the oral bioavailability is 19%, so even uh, a little bit more metabolism in the liver. Uh, so if we go to the graph tab, we see the graph for the parent compound drone to round. Uh, so it uh, goes up and then here's where you get the uh, second dose and, and that starts heading up. Uh, if we click on the new plot tab, we can go and uh, uh, select curves. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at drone drone, uh, the parent in the heart tissue. And then we're also going to change it to the M1 metabolite and show the um, picture of, or the graph of that. Uh, we'll uh, put this on log scale and then we'll color by compound type. Uh, so in red, we have the uh, parent compounds heart um, uh, concentration. And then this is the concentration of M1 uh, in the heart tissue also. So this example illustrates how we can use Gastro Plus to uh, track the M1 metabolite of drone drone in the heart tissue. So now let's go back to this slide to summarize the steps we performed in this video. Uh, we used drone drone as an example, generated the metabolites in MedChem Designer, uh, imported the molecule and M the M1 metabolite into Gastro Plus. Uh, we modified the enzyme table to show the appearance of the M1 metabolite, uh, performed the PPPK simulation, uh, which resulted in the production of the N-D-butyl metabolite, and then we examined the concentration of the parent and metabolite in heart tissue. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, my name is Mike Lawless, and if you have any questions, please email me at mlawless at simulations-plus.com. Thank you very much.